Hi everyone, Paul here with Newegg TV. Today, well first off I'm building a rocket arm similar to the one that Mega Man uses, but I'm doing so using the AMD Fire Pro line of workstation graphics cards. We're going to start off with an unboxing and overview of this video card right here. This is the AMD Fire Pro V5900. We're going to start off with an unboxing of the V5900 and then we'll also talk a little bit more about what makes a professional graphics uh, video card or workstation video card different and unique from let's say a typical 3D gaming video card. But for starters, let's see what you get along with the video card itself. You get a little congratulations note telling you that the ATI Fire Pro here is ATI Crossfire Pro capable and it does come with an ATI Crossfire Pro connector right there. Again, ATI or AMD, either one works. Uh, if it's a Fire Pro video card, they're calling it Crossfire Pro, uh, but you can set up two of them to work in tan tandem to increase your graphics processing capabilities. You have a quick installation guide there. It's full color, which tells you things like system requirements and some basic installation instructions. Installation is pretty much the same as installing your typical uh, 3D gaming video card. Uh, you get a single adapter here that is a display port on that end to a single link DVI plug right there. That will convert one of your display port plugs on the card to single link DVI. You also get, let's do this one first, a multi-display configurations guide there telling you all the various configurations you can set up iFinity with to use multiple displays, kind of like you see set up behind me right now. You also have an AMD Fire Pro professional graphics software and documentations disk. And on the back here, under my thumb, is a special number. That's a unique number for your video card, and that will give you ATI customer care product uh, support. So you can call them directly, and they have very good support. They have a dedicated team specifically for their Fire Pro series of professional graphics cards. And finally, we have the video card itself. And uh, let me get it out of the bag, and we'll take a closer look. And there is a look at the video card itself, a very straightforward utilitarian design because this is a very straightforward and utilitarian type of video card. It's made to do work, uh, being a workstation card. But you have your PCI Express 2.1 connector right down there at the bottom. Uh, you have a red blower right there that will uh, exhaust air through the card to keep it cooled. Fire Pro Graphics V5900 information, of course. Uh, there on the back, you can see we have a red PCB, and there's the bracket uh, mounting bracket for the cooling solution. Right up here in the top right is our Crossfire Pro connector, which you can use to connect that little uh, adapter that's included to use multiple cards. And finally, here on the back, we have our connectors. Uh, you will notice that this is a single slot design, so it's not going to take up a whole lot of space width-wise in your case. Won't block any of your other motherboard connectors. Uh, but you have your two DisplayPort outs there, and those are DisplayPort 1.2 compatible. That means you, you can use them to daisy chain uh, with a DisplayPort 1.2 monitor. You also have a dual link DVI out. So remember, this is a dual link DVI out, and then if you use the adapter included, it will take one of your DisplayPorts and transfer it to a single link DVI connector. Uh, now that's about all that I can show you of the card itself. We're going to go back to the box briefly here to talk about some of the applications and functions because uh, some of them are more difficult to actually show you with just the card. Now uh, we should talk about compatibility. It will work with Windows 7, Vista, uh, will also work with Windows XP, 64-bit editions as well. Also Linux compatible for you Linux workstation users out there. Uh, you have support for OpenGL and DirectX 11 APIs. Uh, again, that Ifinity uh, support, which we're going to go into more detail in just a little bit. Uh, for a workstation card, you're going to have a lot of engineering applications. So a computer-aided design, uh, AutoCAD, for example, also architecture, engineering, and construction applications, medical imaging, life sciences, computerized fluid dynamics, simulations, uh, GIS and mappings, oil and gas, those types of uh, really heavy GPU compute intensive applications that you need this type of video card for. Also digital content creation such as animation, game development, broadcast, cinematic, visual effects, and digital publishing. And finally let's look at some of the detailed hardware specs. We have two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and that will transfer it up to 160 gigabytes per second. Some very fast memory included. We have 512 stream processors. Again, the two DisplayPort outs and, sing and the one dual-link DVI out. 
uh, DirectX 11 and OpenGL as mentioned. OpenCL 1.1 compliant, that is a GPU compute application. So um, applications that you might use that are OpenCL compliant can be accelerated with the Fire Pro graphics card. And then again, as mentioned, the PCI Express 2.1 port. All right, guys, uh, we now have the V5900 plugged in and we're just doing a quick demonstration. Right now we're using Adobe Premiere Pro. And as you can see, we have our workspace spread across all three screens. That's thanks to the Affinity Triple Display technology. Uh, so we have our sample screen and our uh, actual live screen over there. Uh, we have our timeline here with our effect controls, uh, also effects and history and other information, your media browser, your sound mixer, all the way up here. Um, you could also have other applications running, obviously, on the other screens, but this gives you much uh, more area to work with and uh, much in a increased amount of productivity that you can get done. Another thing that is included with the 5900 is Geometry Boost, uh, which effectively uses two geometry engines to draw pixels. It's not used quite as effectively with Premiere Pro that we have running right now, uh, but it does allow you to have smoother playback, especially if you're doing 3D rendering and that sort of thing. Finally, uh, this technology called PowerTune technology, and what's that, what that is doing is for a GPU compute, it's actually spreading your workload across all the stream processors in the video card, and it's giving you uh, better performance with lower wattage. Uh, the 5900, for example, only draws 75 watts of power, which you get from the PCI Express bus. You don't even need to plug in any extra power cables to it. And finally, we're back in the desktop here, so just so we can show you some settings for the Catalyst Pro Control Center. Uh, just to go down the list and show you a few of the things you can do, you have specific Fire Pro settings here, so you can set up for your 3D applications and your Fire Pro card settings. HydroVision will allow you to create multiple desktops that you can switch bete between. Desktop Management allows you to manage those desktops as well as their color settings. Uh, for common display tasks, you have stuff like rotating your desktop and dis detecting the displays. And Affinity, of course, that is the good one. That will allow you to create Affinity display groups. So as you can see here, we have grouped our two left monitors to be recognized as a single double wide monitor here and then our third monitor is set all by itself off to the right. You can also move these around, arrange them, disable them and uh, you can also do this fun thing here which is adjusting for the bezel. So if you notice our monitors here have a bezel right there. This will set up a little grid here for you that you can look at and you can pretty much move this line to the left or to the right. Try to continue this line so that your displays uh, look as clean as possible jumping from one monitor to the other. Now, one last thing to mention about the Fire Pro line of workstation graphics cards and of course the V5900 as well is that they are actually manufactured by AMD. There are no third parties that will manufacture these cards for them. So uh, you get drivers that are tuned and tested by AMD directly as well as a dedicated support team. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I am Paul with Newegg TV. Once again, this has been the AMD Fire Pro V5900 V5 Workstation Graphics Card. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.